Hey guys, welcome back to DungeonReel.net. This is another Lord also known as John, doing another Dungeon Craft for you today. And you can see I'm flying, I'm in creative mode because I'm doing some admin stuff. This is the only time I actually do it. Well, I actually figured out how to do it because there's you have to use special commands when you use the mods I'm using, I guess. So, as you can see, this is the PvP arena so far. All it is is that floor like you've seen in other videos. And first thing is it's very oval shaped. I kind of wanted it to be more round. Secondly, if the Colosseum is going to be more round like the regular Roman Colosseums, uh, this is not a good spot for it because it's too close to this mountain. So I'm going to world edit it over about six or seven blocks and probably line it up about right here. Um, that'll give us a little more room to kind of make a rounder Colosseum. And I'll probably have Jag help me with that. Uh, if he has time, hopefully he'll have time. So this is the only time I'll be using flying or world world edit when I'm doing uh, admin stuff like this, because I don't want to make you guys wait for me to, to to basically move this by hand. It would take way too long, and I'm trying to get this PvP arena done. So um, I'm gonna get off camera here and move this thing, and I'm gonna move uh, Kiwi's little auto tree farm that need that is uh, in the protected area. I'll move that too, and Kiwi, I'll show you where that where that is on this video. So I'll be right back. All right, so I moved the arena over, as you can see, uh, about eight blocks, and I wanted to show you that. I thought I was recording. Apparently, I wasn't. Whatever. Okay, so it also expanded the, the width of it because it was too oval-shaped, and it's still very oval-shaped, but at least it's not um, so narrow like that. Uh, and the Colosseum still will hopefully go out kind of in a rounded shape, but I'm not sure how round we'll be able to make it with such limited space that we have. Uh, so I wanted to show Kiwi where I moved his building too as you can see it's no longer there over there I moved it over here by the tracks that run out toward the old quarry area and it's gonna take a sec for my uh, stuff to load in here but you'll be able to see it in a second uh, hopefully my internet connection has been kinda of junky lately and I did some speed testing and I need to call Comcast about it because it's I'm only getting, I'm getting like less than a megabit down and like 2.2 .2 megabits up, so they're going to have to fix that because I'm supposed to have a 3, a three down, 1.5 up. Alright, so here it is. I moved it over here, again, as you can see by the uh, tracks that are going out to the old quarry. The only problem is it doesn't move any red power stuff, uh, so it jacked it up quite a bit, and there's not much I can do about that really. I put all the extra stuff in that uh, silver chest for you there, Kiwi. Anyway, that's... The, now, I've changed the floor. That took a little while. And I know a lot of you guys on TeamSpeak have heard me working on that for like a couple days probably. And now let's get back to building the um, building the staircase that, that I'm going to build with frames and frame motors so that champions can get out of this arena. And I'll switch it back to uh, to recipe mode right in a second here. And it's going to be come out right here. Like the throne or wherever I'm going to be sitting pretty much or whoever's, whoever's in charge that night is going to be here and then we hit a button and a stair, staircase comes out here and the champion gets to come up the staircase and stand on the pedestal or whatever it is so I'll be right back when I get all the frames and stuff together because you've already seen me build a lot of that stuff. I was making my frame motors as you can see here um, I'm making about six of them for the stair build and one thing I and I also reset my quarry because I need more um, I'm kind of not I'm running out of resources a little bit um, I do have kind of a lot of iron, but I see all the space. I wanted to make sure I didn't run out of resources. So, um, and also for redstone, since I am getting a little low on redstone again. Um, but so I was cooking up some more of these blue alloy ingots, and I noticed I really want to upgrade this thing to uh, to the blue electric uh, alloy furnace. And what that does is it it uses blutricity, but it cooks the ingot uh, alloys twice as fast. So I want to get one hooked up here. I might even get two of them right here because this thing is pretty slow. And when I'm waiting on something to build, uh, you know, I don't want to wait like that for that long period of time. Um, so I'll be. Uh, let's actually just build that real quick. It's a really easy build, but I did want to show it to you. It's just five bricks, a uh, blue alloy ingot, and two iron ingots. So let me get that. I, I know I already have that uh, around here somewhere. In fact, let me just make new bricks because I want to keep the bricks I already have. Where'd my bricks? There they are. So, so you're gonna need. Well, let's just do this. I'm gonna be able to keep eight of them. I should probably cook up some more bricks, huh? Because I'm getting a lot more clay right now. So let me cook up some more bricks, just to make sure I don't run out of those. All right. So bricks. Let's see. Brick pattern. Not a problem here. Five of those, and there we go. Five. Ooh, cool. I already have everything I need. Okay. 
blue electric furnace. Nice. So I am going to have to cut um, kind of a path for the blue electricity, probably right up the back of this. I don't really want to because this is really supposed to be for switches and stuff, but I guess I could do it right up under here. Let's let's see if I could do that. I could do it right there. I could run it right up. Well, that's going to be in the way. I could reroute that, that cabling maybe over this way a little more since it does only go up to right there. Yeah, let's just do that right now, in fact. Let's do this. Let's see. It's kind of in the way. Okay, so right there. And there is a, a little bit of power um, in the buffer for those in, uh, machines, so it shouldn't affect them too much, me uh, moving it like that. All right, cool. Now I should be able to... No, because you can't... Let me reroute, reroute that one. Oh! Or just fall down into my sorting room. That that kind of works too, I guess. Not really. Okay. Um. Anyway, so I'm gonna hook that blue tricity up, and I'm gonna show you how that thing works. It's supposed to be twice as fast. Oh no, this is a problem. I don't have my cart. That's gonna be an issue. What happens when you fall down in the hole and you don't have your cart? I'll have to dig my way out. That's gonna be fun. Anyway, I'll be back when I've set that thing up, and I'll show you how how it works. Um. And that it works twice as fast. Hold on. I'm back. I ran the uh, blue electric wires. You can see as I, when I knocked this off, you build a seat anyway. Um, I also made a little bit of an access point uh, for my sorting room up to this area right here because when I made the elevator, it kind of knocked out my access point. Uh, so actually, I'm going to replace that on top until I get something that I need, um, you know, a switch for. So I'm just going to place it right here. Oops. Well, see, there's the blue electric uh, cable that I ran. And it should power it. Yeah, you can see it's drawing power now. So I'm going to put these other blocks back. Let's see. Like, it's on one. There we go. And I'm going to put this one back. Just cause, so, uh, come on, WASD. Just so I can have an extra one right here. Now I have, uh, why is it over there, though? I wonder if I can turn it. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. OCD. That's my OCD again. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. There it is. Okay. Let's see if I can turn it. Not that it's going to matter anyway, but... Nope. Can't turn it. Well, whatever. Okay, so I've got both now. And this one... Let's see. I'm going to make some... Uh, I need some brass ingots. So let's see how fast... There we go. Twice as fast. And what I might do is if I, I need two of them... So you can see it working right there is I might put another blue electric furnace here, but for now, it's fine. I'll just leave this one the way it is. And now I've got plenty of coal coke because I have been running coal through my um, coke oven down there to get plenty of, um, let's just resort those in too, to get plenty of creosote oil. And let's see if it's sorted up. Actually, it would be in here. Yeah, see, so I've got 64 of it now. Plenty. In case I want to make uh, some road road ties and stuff, or rail, rail ties. So let's let's get that. That's good enough for now. And what was I making with it? Um, I can't remember. Oh, I was making the final frame motor uh, recipe. I know these go here. So anyway, I'm going to make those frame motors. And I got my frames already. I've got uh, 32 of them. That should be enough. Maybe not. And I'll meet you back out there. All right, so back out here now. Got lots of good parts. Tons of frames, a thermal pile to run my frame motors. Battery box is pretty typical setup. And I didn't bring my blue electric cables. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god. Back again now they got my blue alley wire. You know what I'm saying? How many pieces I got? 47? Alright, that should do. So, okay. The way this is going to work is I'm going to cut a, I want it to be about 6 blocks wide and it's going to extend right here, right below that uh, pedestal. So let me start digging that. Uh, so the way this is going to work, real quick, let me just tell you is this wall right here is going to be pulled back because I want um, the wall to look to be the same um, material, right? I don't want to have uh, the frames and covers and stuff. It would look stupid. So the wall is going to pull back. That's going to be two motors, you know, back and forth. The uh, wall is also going to be pulled down, and that's going to be two more motors down and up. And then once the wall is completely down, the staircase in the back will be pushed forward. So that'll be two more motors forward and back there. So let me get this thing dug out, and I think I actually need to make. Uh, a p few pieces of red alloy um, logic. Uh, I'm not really sure what I need. Probably timers and state cells and stuff. So let me get back. I'll be back when I cut this section out here and I'll make some um, the red power stuff 
red power uh, logic and if there's something I haven't you know, I make that I haven't shown you yet I'll pull that out so or, or I mean I'll show it to you be right back got everything I need now well I, I'm hoping it's everything um, I'm gonna try to do something kind of different with the way well it's not different it's the same way I set up the gate but there's gonna be three or four different things going on with the same set of red uh, redstone signaling so it's gonna be a little wacko and I'm kinda hoping it works one thing I didn't do yet well I guess I'll do that part when I know what I'm gonna be doing so one of the things I did to increase my inventory space is I made another ender chest and this should help me with projects and stuff and this way as you can see I can hold more stuff and now obviously with that uh, you know, it was one one space in my inventory is actually holding a lot more space for me, stuff I might not need right away. That's going to be my new project chest. I'm just going to load everything into there, in there when I'm in my house, and now I've got everything I need uh, and lots of extra space in my inventory. So, first thing I'm going to be working on is are the support frames. I'm not going to really need any of this stuff yet. Um, I will need this cutter. Well, I already have um, some covers. I might need some nether rack covers as well. Uh, I think that's it, so let's get started. And that's gonna be my sorting chest. I don't need it right now. Ooh, an ender chest inside another ender chest. Weird. You know, I probably should set my thermal pile up first because I want to start uh, collecting juice. So let's get that going first. Which means I will need all this stuff. Let's see. All this. And you've seen me do this before, so I'll just be setting this up off camera. But let me get everything set up here. Alright, so I'm all set up. I'm gonna build that probably over here somewhere. Uh, in the back. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to get this set up off camera. Hold on a sec. Alright, so this thing's all set up now. It's way back in the back, and I'm hoping that it's not going to get in the way. If it is, I might have to move it, but there's not a lot of power in it yet, so let me just dump this uh, blue blue electric battery I got into it. Um, I had I was uh, bringing that for my sonic screwdriver, but I'm pretty sure I won't run out. So let's store that, because now I'm not going to need it. And I also put down my sorting chest, because... I had to fight some mobs, and they fill out my inventory super fast. There we go. Okay. So don't need that. Let's see. What what am I going to need here? Let's see. Let's just do this. So it's time to start putting, I think, the wall pieces in. So let me do that. You know, I'm, I'm probably going to run out of frames. I'll have to get some more. But, you know, that's fine. Whatever. So the way the frames are going to work is they're going to have to hold that front part of the wall. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get this to work because I actually haven't tried it. I'm just going to kind of do this on the fly and then if it doesn't work I'll just turn the camera off and fix it. Um, but the way you do frames is you have to get them all in place first and then you have to put covers on them where you don't want them to stick. And obviously I don't want them to stick over here so let's put some covers on these. And I generally just use cobblestone covers um, if it's an area that nobody's going to see. You know it doesn't really matter what kind of cover you use. And cobblestone is coming out my ears so that's kind of easy. Um, I think I'm going to need them all along here. I should probably think about this, because there are going to be multiple um, frames, frame units in here moving around. But I'm pretty sure I don't want this, these to stick to anything else except those front blocks. So, let's see. Almost done. And I tried to put some lighting up so you guys can see, but I'm probably going to have to take it down eventually here. Alright, so i got some of that on the side. The front, I'm going to want... Sandstone, yeah, that's right. So let me cut another walkway right here. Let's see, that's good enough. And I should have some over here in this these project uh, chests. Yeah, there we go. And we can change up the look at this of this thing. I really just want to get it working. Um, oh, maybe maybe I did that wrong actually. Not that it matters. All right, there we go. Um, but I really just want to get this whole thing working, and it's going to be. That's weird looking. Oh, oh well, whatever. It's going to be sandstone, uh, at least for this wall area. I'm not sure about the, the rest of the uh, arena, how it's going to look. I'm definitely going to have help from the, the new guys on the server, and Jag, hopefully, and some other guys. Maybe we'll have like a... What the hell just happened? Oh, I'm glitching out. Weird. Um, maybe we'll have like a little building session or something to f finish this thing off. And I'll also... Uh, be asking these guys to do help me. This is going to be a server project on the server. One of the actually the first server project, really. I'm getting some glitching going on here a little bit. Uh, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna put some. Let me put the rest of the covers on, and then I'm probably going to hook this up to some levers just to get it working and stuff. I'll I'll hook it up to the to a to the uh, 
first frame loaders and stuff. Actually, I'll be doing that in a sec. Let me get the rest. Well, we're almost done. Might as well just do it on camera. These are the last parts I need uh, covers. Now, you don't. The frame will move. The frame motor will move a frame regardless of whether there's a cover on it or not. So, generally, I put covers pretty much everywhere except for the spots I want it to stick to a block. And that cut covers <laughs> and that covers me uh, that covers me from it sticking anywhere so remember first this wall is gonna and there's gonna this is where the second part of the wall is so this will be all f filled with uh, sandstone you won't even be able to tell it's there the first first thing this what's that's gonna happen is the wall is gonna get pulled back so it pulls it out a little bit into a um, into an area where it can be moved down I guess it can be moved down right where it sits huh it doesn't even need to be pulled back at all Hmm, maybe I should just do that. That will be easier. Cool. So, and the way I'm going to use just the... Well, I can't show you now. The way I'm going to use just two sets of items, one set to drive, you know, to open it, and one set to close it, is I'm just going to have the stairs constantly pushing against this set of frames here until it's out of the way, and then they'll naturally move out, and I'll just have it, you know, I'll have to time it to make sure that it gets out enough ticks. To get out into place and then I'm gonna have a stopper on it so even if it goes too far it'll catch on a block or something and won't move out uh, any additional blocks so let's see that thing's set up so now I'll probably put a motor here to get it to move down now as you guys most of you got well some of you guys know I guess uh, I do watch direwolf 20s videos they're very good they're very good at showing he's very good at t uh, talking about you know how all this stuff works and um, kind of the little bit of tricks and stuff that he's learned over, over time just using all these mob mods mobs and so I watch his videos a lot and I learn a lot from those videos just like you probably learn a lot from mine hopefully and one of the things he showed me the other day um, that I was watching was if you shift click this frame motor if you get it set up with the arrow the way you want it and then you shift click it until the arrow is on the opposite face it will be the same direction as you're seeing here so if I keep shift clicking it until I see the flat backside with no uh, graphic that means this frame uh, motor will move this thing down the arrow will be down on the other side oh I think I just got it actually so it should move things down now uh, and that means we're gonna have to have some power here so let's just make our make some space over to this guy how are we going to do this? Probably right off the bat box. Oh, he's already filling up. Cool. That's awesome. Well, I did fill him up a little bit. These things do take a little bit of time to fill up. Um, but they're, the thermal piles are awesome, especially for um, frame builds. Because the frame motors don't require too much power, especially when you're all you're really doing is running the power from something that's not going to be running all the time. It's just going to be running very uh, irregularly, like these stairs will. They will not be running that often, so let's just run this all the way over. I'm, I might need more blue le blue electric uh, wire here, but you know if I do, I do, and we'll figure it out. And that should power this guy. It takes a little bit of time. The blue lights will light up when it's powered. Um, so that guy's gonna is all ready to go. Now for up, I'll probably just want to put it here because a, a frame motor touching another frame motor will power each other. And I like to put them on the same side. What I was going to do is have the toggle switch, toggle off that way and run that set of, of stuff, and then to, or toggle off this way and run this set. But if I do that after, well, I could do that. All I have to do is run a little bit of extra cable. It's probably worth it because then it won't be so convoluted on how I'm going to do this. It'll be a lot easier to set up one side over the other. All right, so let's see. So I got that guy set up to go down. Now I just need to dig the hole. So there's somewhere for him to go. He's going to be moving down three. Let's see. Come on. We've got to be really careful with this drill because it wants to drill that uh, dirt really fast. Some more WASD issues. I don't know what that is. If you know what that is, let me know. I think it's just lag. I don't know if it's server or client, though. So, Oh, missed a cover. See this? Good to know. Good to know. And, uh, obviously, that one's fine. Okay, so this thing's going to move down three blocks right okay three blocks so one two see how fast it wants to dig which is awesome again when you're trying to dig that fast but when you're not it's a pain and these two as well or these three 
Okay, should that should work. A lot of times when I put do frames and frame motors, I try to get something natural it'll get stuck on. And so that's three blocks down, it shouldn't go down any further. So now what you can do uh, is use a lever. So let's let's make one. I know I have a bunch of them in my house, but I don't want to take the time to go over there. So you make a lever to test this thing out. Should be able to do it right there. So I got one, nice, two. Okay, see, there's something I didn't anticipate. Three. It doesn't really need to go down that far, does it? Where'd it go? That's odd. I thought I had... Th Is there a hole down there? Huh. Hold on, let me let me turn make this go up. Well, I'm going to put that on the other side, right? So let's just set the other one up and make this thing go up. Cause I, and I don't want it to pull this, this block down, so see, I, I missed some covers is what, I, what happened there. So let's get this blue uh, electricity set up too. Alright, let's see, let's just knock all this stuff out. Kind of liked how I set that other side up. It just goes around in a straight line. I hate when my wires get all crossed. Oh man, you guys probably can't see now. Hold on. Let me get some uh, more torches back here. Alright, cool. I hate when my wires get all crossed up and it gets hard to see. It becomes hard to see. I hate that. Or I mean, hard to... I don't know. I just like organization. I can't stand it when something's unorganized. It's fine if it can't be organized and you did the best job you can. Like in some of my builds, the wires cross over quite a bit, but with the limited space I had, there was really no other way to do it. And that's fine. I just get a little bit uh, OCD when I see stuff that is all really like kind of messy and it could be a lot nicer. Uh, I wonder if I can just do it like this. I bet you I can. It's going to use up a lot of extra, but you know, the blue alloy stuff is really easy to make because you just have to use silver, and silver is like in total abundance. There's like tons of it. Alright, so I need to shift click this guy, I think. There we go. Okay, so that's down. We want it up. So if I don't shift click, I'm just turning that. See, I'm turning the block now. It's just right clicking. If I shift right click, it actually turns the face. Okay, now I can shift, right click until I get the blank face. There, now the arrow is on that side, doing going up. So we're gonna make another lever. Let's see. All right, got another lever. Let's move that. Oh, yeah. See, that's not gonna work. I need to put another um, frame there just to get this thing to move move up. So let's do that. That should move the whole thing. There we go. It's weird. You know what? It pushed all the blocks down. Is what it did. Hmm, it's going to have to get stuck on something. Maybe I'll have to take a cover off down there so it'll get stuck. Alright, so let's let's knock this off now. We don't need that frame up there now. But we do want frame covers on these, so let's do that before I move it up more. And this is definitely why you test it. Um, I mean, I would test it anyway when it's all, all the way built. But it's nice to do test it in small sections so that you can fix... It's easier to troubleshoot. What that's called in programming is unit testing. You want to do unit testing because it's a lot easier to debug a small piece of the program or whatever logic you're setting up than to test the whole damn thing. Alright, so the way I'm going to do this, the way I'm going to get it to stop, because yes, it, it, well, is that what I mined out? I guess I did, huh? So one, two, three, okay, it should have got stuck. I just dug out too much is what I did. Okay, so you guys probably can't see again, huh? My brightness is turned all the way up, but sometimes that doesn't really mean it. There we go. Okay. So I'm filling this bottom part in. There. Now it shouldn't um, shouldn't go down too far. So let's try that again. Okay. And it has to go down one more, and it won't. Maybe my Oh, my frame motor is too high. That's what it is. Yep, I'm going to have to move those down. So let's do that real quick. Alright. Move you. You're going to be moving. And we're going to... Oh, see? Damn you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Stupid dirt and drill and stuff. Alright, there we go. Cool. So let's, let's set this guy up one more time. Set him up. Uh, I need to take one of these guys out of here. Yeah, let's just do my sword. I don't need it for now. Watch them get attacked. Alright, so let's do this one more time. Gonna need this. And gonna need to do shift, right click, 
and then that's down so shift right click again all oh, that I just had it actually there we go blank face means the arrows to this direction dig down one more block so I can put my lever and nope now it's not going deep enough so it was right the first time my frame motors were just in the wrong positions or were one uh, too high so we'll fix this side at the same time all right so I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna dig out that one spot and I'm gonna set up these frame motors again and I'll bear it back all right it's all set up now and let's test it I did dig out one more layer down there and bam okay so once it drops down like this and I can actually fill this part in now it should I should be done whoa whoa bro I don't have a sword either damn it damn it get the sword out get the sword out kill him kill him in the face you're dead bro you're dead thanks for the XP all right so um actually I should probably sleep through the night so you guys can see I'm gonna do that I'll be right back alrighty I'm back now we're almost uh, finished with this episode we're almost out of time here um, I'm really gonna try to keep these things to 30 minutes from now on I'm really watching the clock because I really need to be doing 30 minute videos instead of 45 minute videos because the 45 minute videos um, don't get ranked as well um, people's attention is just run out it's kind of a natural thing so anyway we got about three minutes left I think so once this is down the, the stairs will be pushing against this thing. Once it goes down, the stairs will start moving out. Um, and I can fill all this back in now since it's been tested. Because um, I'm going to have to start working on the next piece here. And so it'll naturally... I think I can I can use this whole thing with one state cell, one timer, and all that stuff. It should run both uh, motors here. And I bet you I'm going to have to run it down like this. Because I'm going to need the um, red alloy wire to go across this motor right here. Um, so let me start building the frames for the stairs, and it's going to look something like this, I guess, right? And then we're going to have like that. Oops, that doesn't need to be there. Okay. Remember, you set your frames up first, and then you set up your covers. So that means you're going to need another one of these. And might as well just dig this out. Can't really see anyway, and I'm going to need to get up there, so put the covers on. Okay, so for this part, the covers will have to be, um, well, I want them to be sandstone, I think. Let's see, let's just dig these, this out right here. You can always put this back in. Yeah, they're going to be sandstone because it, I want it to be the same color as the wall, obviously. Well, not obviously, but I do. So, there we go. That's the last set of stairs we're going to need. Um... Now, to make this thing work, we will need a couple of extra ones, like here and here, so the frame motors have something to work with. And the frame motors will probably have to be right there. That's probably where it'll have to be. Because they're going to have to move that out one, two, three. Let's see, it might have to actually extend a little further. Because how many, how many does it have to move out? Whoa, 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 creeper! Get out of there! Damn! Damn you, creeper! Now, I do have auto regen on for creepers. It's a towny thing. And luckily, this chest is an obsidian chest, basically. And has a lot of hit points and a lot of resistance to damage. Because that would suck if that creeper blew my chest up. So anyway, we're pretty much out of time. And the creeper did blow... Damn you, creeper! Seriously? I don't think that'll regenerate. Doesn't like to regenerate tech at stuff. Um... We're out of time, but next time we're going to come back, I'm going to get the stair thing working, and then we're going to start working on some traps. I've got some ideas, and I need to actually lay them out on a, on a piece of paper. I've got ideas for traps. I just don't know where they're going to go. So, also, I've been talking to some new guys, hopefully to get some more people on Dungecraft. So that will help us with the server and opening up some more slots um, and doing a couple more contests and get some more content out there for you guys. And then I'll probably have to upgrade the server at that point, which is fine. I kind of anticipated that anyway. Uh, but it's going to be pretty pretty exciting stuff should be coming up now that uh, a couple of my other projects and vacations and stuff are out of the way. Um, so also, please, if you, could, if you could support me by checking out the thread in the, in the video description where I discuss, uh, we discuss Dungecraft and things like that, discuss this series. I'll be answering questions there. Um, oh, it does do frames. Cool. I like that. I wonder if it will regenerate that. But anyway, if you could go there and, uh, you know, just uh, talk with us in that thread. Uh, I really appreciate it. it. Keeps it bumped to the top a little bit. Keep you know that helps me with getting more exposure for the series, and um, 
so that I really appreciate that. And then uh, also that's where you keep texture packs, the information for the downloads for these texture, the uh, fax texture pack you're seeing here for Tekkit, um, and other stuff like that. And let me know what you guys think about this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.